Hey everybody and welcome to part two of our Clearwater wedding anniversary weekend. This video is mostly focused on the Opal Sands Resort, which you can see here in some flyovers. Absolutely beautiful property, amazing service, amazing food. Just we loved everything about this. So part one, uh, we uploaded last week. I'll put a link to it in the description. It was more about our drive out to Clearwater for the first time and a stop at a great tiki bar. This video is all about the hotel and our adventures around Clearwater Beach, some of the food we had, some of the stores we went into, our overall impression of the hotel. And if you stick around to the end, you'll get a nice 10 minute kind of drive home review and recap of what we liked about the hotel, the negatives, uh, which is a very short list and our overall thoughts. So uh, thanks for watching. So when you pull into the Opal Sands, we'll come up here to the, the valley drop off. That's kind of where you'll drive in from after you get off the causeway and drive up the road to get here. But it is, um, you have to do valet. It's mandatory valet, which is fine. It's been pretty good. And then you come in these main doors. And there are some elevators going up, but most people take the escalator will take us right up to the lobby. Some very cool lighting. I mean, this place is like luxury mod. You know, like the texture on the walls, the artwork they have going on. So when you get up to the top, there's the elevators coming from the bottom floor. There is a little sundries gift shop. They close relatively early in the evening though. So if you're counting on this to be like a late night Coke, don't. Um, I want to say they close around 6 o'clock. But the main lobby there is reception where you check in, check out, and concierge if you want to like book a boat ride. There's a nice staircase kind of going up to an overlook level. And as you come back through the main elevators going up to all the floors are right over there. Seguini is back in that corner. The, some of the best snapper I've ever had in my life, some of the best fish I've ever had. Fantastic. And then just a nice, chill lobby that looks out over the beach. And there's a little business center here too, but may, maybe our favorite part is this nice little sandcastle they've got going on. So yeah, we've been big fans of our stay here. And I think when the new hotel that's going to be attached to this opens up. This is going to be a jaw dropper on the beach if it isn't already. So if you do come up the elevator, the stairs in the lobby to the second floor, this is what you're going to find. Um, conference rooms, ballrooms. There were three weddings here over the weekend. There's the three elevators. And then here's the main lobby. That's the staircase going up, obviously. Again, very cool lighting effects. You can already smell the cookies that they're gonna put out later on in the day. But yeah, there's the downstairs. The floor looks a little perspective, makes a world of difference because it looks way cooler up here than it does down there. And then some more uh, gallery space, so. And then the view up here is also spectacular. Looking out onto the gulf, don't call it the ocean. Beautiful. So when you're in the lobby, if you come to one of these, and here's Singuini, there's a door right here that takes you out to the pool deck. And we are off season, so there's nobody fighting for chairs. There's another door immediately to your right, which you would come out and there's a nice seating area over here and the stairs that go down to the tiki bar and the area for the beach access. And then there's a railing right over here. That is the hot tub, which we'll check out later. But it is about nine o'clock in the morning. And there are no crowds, basically nobody's out by the pool. So it is a zero depth entry. There are these nice lounge chairs you can take advantage of. But yeah, it's a, it's a walk-in pool. 
Then there is another pool bar here. I have already confirmed you can take drinks into the pool bar, but there's plenty of seating and then it goes off way into the other side over there. And then there's some more comfortable kind of lounge seating. There's some Adirondack duck chairs. There's some restroom facilities over there you can use. But um, yeah, nice, beautiful view of the Gulf as they insist on calling it. And uh, we'll be using these facilities later on today. And there she is, her room's up there somewhere. But if you come down, this is the pool deck up here. If you take this staircase down, you'll have access to the beach walkway. And more importantly, access to the sandbar, which probably opens around 10 or 11 but it is their outdoor tiki bar. There's plenty of seating out here. Looking forward to having a couple drinks here later on. And yeah, that would be the walkway that would take you to the main beach. So the other thing we found out at breakfast was, I, I had heard somebody on YouTube say this is gonna be something called the Atlantic Hotel, but it's gonna be actually another building that's part of the Opal Sands collection. So this will be part of the same complex. They're gonna build a sky bridge that connects the two and they'll share amenities. So that's gonna be opening in, the target date is January, 2025 right now. So look forward to that. It's gonna double the size of the property. So our room does pretty much overlook the hot tub and here it is off to the side. I wanted to show this is not the best view if you're sitting on this side of the hot tub, at least until January of 2025 when that bad boy opens. But the Rio does get dramatically better. If you just come around the corner and maybe sit on this side. Framing makes all the difference. Look at that, you'd never know. Not cool? Beautiful. So there you go, pro tip. Then down at the far end of the pool deck is there's some restrooms, which they keep very clean. But off to the right here, there's another seating area. And from what I can tell, the only three cabanas which do seem to be pretty well appointed. Um, there's a large TV, there's plenty of nice seating. There's a, looks like some storage area in there for you. A nice ceiling fan. So this would be pretty nice to have for the day, especially on a busy day. And the third one. And then if you come down to this far end of the, there is a different view. So some matter end chairs, a good place to chill out. And this is the inlet that goes into the marina, the causeway, back to the mainland. Would all be around the corner to my left there. And then that's the southern side of uh, Clearwater Beach too. That's a, um, a park over there that I know a lot of locals go to. And those are mainly condos. So beautiful views abound here. All right, we've arrived. Opal Sands Hotel room. Uh, let's see what room number room. We're in room 1405. Apparently this is basically the highest floor you can get. They give you these wristbands at check-in and they work as a key. Almost didn't work. Um, I've done a few of these hotel room tours now and I think I'm getting kind of the same and I'm going to stick with it. I don't start with the closet or show you the mini fridge. I get right to what everybody who's staying in a beach run hotel wants to see. And that is their view. And I have to say, even though it is kind of a rainy overcast day, this view is something else. So this is the Gulf of Mexico. If you're looking at it, I do not say the ocean, but here is the view of Clearwater Beach. That's the famous Pier 60 out there. The Hyatt Hotel on the right, there's a nice Wyndham. The Atlantic Hotel, which I'm sure will be the next kind of premier hotel on the Strip under construction, but we are at the lovely 
Opal Sands. We're staying right above. The hot tub is down there. Pool's over there. And then you just walk out there and you're on the beach. So, nice, very wide lanai, balcony, whatever you want to call it. Nice, wide chairs. We'll be spending a lot of time out here taking in this. But let's go back into the room. Um, I really like it. There's nice kind of laminate wood floors. Contemporary... Uh, I'd say furniture and design, but it's nice. It's tasteful. Nice artwork. I like that. A bunch of fish around the beach. Nice big king bed. This is the superior king room, so it's a little bit bigger than a standard king room. I think the big addition is this kind of sectional over here and this kind of seating area over here. And we have to say a huge shout out props to the management because we let them know that we were here for our fifth year wedding anniversary and they left us a complimentary bottle of champagne, which is currently chilling, and a nice box of chocolates with a personalized card congratulating us on our big day and our big event. So class act, you guys. They got that right and they got the room right because I wanted a high floor with a good view. So the hotel has delivered in every way, shape or form. This is the entry hallway. There's a nice fridge down here. Uh, plenty of closet space. Maybe actually a little tight on the closet space, but I usually keep my stuff in the bag. And then the restroom has a, a closing barn door on it. This is pretty typical these days in most of the hotels we've been going to. And I gotta say, wow, I'm a big fan of this. Nice walk-in shower. Plenty of space in there. Uh, I'll check out your report back on the water pressure later. That's a big deal for me, in case you guys don't know that yet. But it looks very nice. There's a handheld and kind of the typical rain shower up top. Nice modern sink, well lit. And then there's a, a water closet off to the side that um, no separate privacy for that, but I cannot forget them because of the view. So needless to say, we are quite thrilled. Show you the room one more time. Yeah, this is plenty big for us. This is going to be very comfortable for the next three days. So um, looking forward to touring the rest of the hotel with you guys. But first impressions are overwhelmingly positive. So we're just walking down the hallway to go to the, uh, the pantry on the floor. But this is the view you get from the hallway. There's no exterior rooms. All the rooms face the beach. But on the other side, this is what you see. So it's kind of the main drag of Clearwater um, on the back side. This is the channel side. So, beautiful. So we decided to keep things simple and come across the street to... Where are we right now? <laughs> no, we're in Salty's. Salty's. Which is directly... And we've heard about this place. It was on our radar. This is directly across the street from our hotel. Literally across the street. Amber, what'd you get? So I got what he keeps referring to as the green tea drink. So it's similar to the green tea shot. I can't even pretend to tell you what's in this. I know there was Jameson. That's really all you remember. Maybe That's all you need to know. So and I, just, I just got a rum and coke. Kept it pretty simple. Um, cheers. Nothing makes you feel old though when you roll into your hotel room for the end of the night to kind of shift it down from sixth gear to first. You realize it's only 9.30, but that's exactly the time it is. And Amber decided she wanted some sweets. The hotel, as I mentioned earlier, was incredibly gracious and gave us a box of chocolates. The problem is we don't know what kind of chocolates they are. And I, I for one, am rather pedestrian in my chocolatey taste, a uh, milk chocolate Kit Kat kind of guy. Um, so these could, these, these could have coffee. Lord knows what's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and I think roll the dice on some of these and see how good they are. So it's Friday, it's about 11.30 a.m. And I just wanted to give you guys a look. Well, first of all, here's the view again on a, a sunnier day. It's pretty overcast yesterday. There's some boats out. 
But I wanted to give you a look at um, Clearwater Beach. You can see, like, I'd say that's a light crowd. I mean, I don't think there's anything close to a heavy crowd. So if you come a little bit off season, this is what you can expect. It is um, in the mid 80s today with all the rain we've been having. The heat index is at right up around 90, 92 degrees. So we're going to spend a lot of it in the pool, which you can't really see from here. It's kind of on the other side of the hotel, but it's not too packed. There's still a lot of chairs down there at 1130. I've heard it's much worse on a um, like a busy in season kind of day. But if you come off season, it's not that hard midday to get a chair by the pool. Just FYI. Looks like if you're coming to use the public beach, there is a parking lot down here. You can see, again, even on a quote light day, it's relatively full, but there's still spots to be had. I don't know if they charge for that parking lot or not. And I know that these blue umbrellas and kind of uh, casabellas down there, those are for a charge as well. You get an umbrella and a couple of chairs. I want to say they're around $30 a day, and I think they take credit card. Pool drinks um, and pool food, day one. Can't go wrong with some buffalo style wings by the pool. These were what, ten dollars? Yes. The pool drinks are about fifteen dollars a pop. They're not too bad. The crowds by the pool, pretty light. Gone noon. I mean, there's lots of tables available. So yeah, off season, the Opal Sands is the way to go. Opal Sands is the way to go. Here's around. Here's around the pool drinks. So these are running fifteen dollars each, which I don't think is too bad for a. Um, you know, a high level resort pool. I think that's about standard, probably on the cheaper side of things. But Amber got the, I believe it's the blue lightning. What's in it? What are you having in this? Oh, it's a, I, I thought it was Go a video. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. I appreciate you, though. <laughs> that's, by the way, that was a staff member. He thought we were taking pictures of each other, and he came over to offer to take a picture of us, and they thought it was a video. But the staff here, I have to say, is is a 10 out of 10, if not an 11 out of 10. So, to the person they've been, right? I'd say pretty spectacular. So Lauren has been our uh, pool, pool bar attendant, yeah. and she's fantastic. Yeah, she brought us these lovely drinks and this lovely food. Um, so Blue Lightning, what, what what is the alcohol? There's blue raspberry vodka in it, and she uh, said that it tasted like a bomb pop, and she's right. It That's does. Awesome. It's delicious. And then I got a Rum Runner not frozen and this is just it's you know tropical juices and three different kind of rums it's uh i think the best bang for your buck anywhere you go i love rum runners bahama mamas i'm a big fan of sweet and strong are kind of my requirements at least at a poolside bar so hope everybody is having a great day we're certainly having a good start to our fifth year anniversary fifth year fifth anniversary of our wedding there's so many ways to say it and so many ways to mess it up I don't know about you guys, but I grew up going to the Jersey Shore and living on the, on the West Coast. We lived in San Diego for a couple years when I was a kid. Nothing says the beach to me like hearing a seagull do its thing. Especially, there it goes again. Especially when there's a palm tree nearby. This is uh, all sorts of nostalgic vibes. I love it. Big fan of Clearwater so far. West Coast of Florida has got it going on. Hey, Amber. Okay. What are we drinking today? I don't even remember what my drink is. Oh, a uh, whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. That's the best answer ever. Uh, so we moved from the pool bar down to the sandbar, which is right below it. Look at this view. We're watching this spot. If they, uh, these people move, we're going to adversely possess this property. So here we go. We got the uh, pork nachos down at the sandbar uh, with no onion. These are amazing. And what's funny is like everybody shot isn't doing it justice. Believe me when I say like 12 different nacho orders came out at the same time. Everybody here was uh, yeah, great minds. Great minds think alike. And that's what happened here. These look delicious. And if you're patient enough hanging out by the, uh, the sandbar at the Opal Sands Resort, could eventually nab this spot in the afternoon and um i'm just gonna say i live here now we live here now this is our, our 
Our purpose in life, I think, is to sit here and watch the waves go by and watch life go by. And here we go. In the afternoon, they have cookies available. There's not many. So I think we're going to take what's left. But there you go. Every day in the Elpo Sands Resort, you can have some cookies. to say the um the mood lighting that comes on at night i mean look at this the the wall this was cool at breakfast time but at night it really takes on a personality of its own and um we got a pretty there's a beautiful wife she's gonna be on camera tonight but well you can't really see but the ocean is right on the other side of this window i promise you but yeah this is sea queenie at night the bar is packed it's crowded but um not packed, I would say. If that makes any sense. It's, it's, it's busy, but not claustrophobic. I can't get so it. our first course has arrived. We got the um, the shrimp cocktail, and there's a pretty good number here for an appetizer. We're, we are, it's gonna be like picking the house majority later to figure out what we're having for dinner tonight, though. This decision's gonna be rough. So me and the husband ordered some beverages. Um, I actually decided on this smoky old fashioned. Please forgive the it's low light. It's hard to get it to focus. Let's try. I'm doing my best to focus this video, but it's very difficult in this low light. So I got the smoky old fashioned. It's Woodford Reserve and maple syrup with a hickory smoke flavor from our smoke gun. And then Adrian got this Opal Sunset, which is Angel's MB bourbon, lemon juice, Aperol, peach ginger syrup. So here's mine. It comes with this. I think it's more about presentation. And it looks fantastic. Here's my opal sunset up close. Really looking forward to this. I usually get an old fashioned. I'm an old fashioned fan, like Don Draper. Uh, but I mix it up every now and then, and especially at night. I feel like at night when you're gonna get, I'm gonna get the snapper by the way. Decided to get the steak. But I think at night when you're having a main course, uh, a bourbon based drink is nice, so. Yeah, this is the way to go. So I got the red snapper um, after much discussion. This comes directly from the Gulf of Mexico, which is about 100 yards uh, to where my knife is right now. So I had to go with that. I skipped over the, um, the filet mignon. The guy was like, look, you can get a good steak anywhere, but you're in a, you're in a, a partial seafood restaurant where there's fresh fish. You should go with that. So, And here we are. And let me pass it over to Amber to see we can see what she got. So I got the lobster linguine. And again, this low light doesn't do us any justice. <laughs> this looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. We'll either put it in the description or do a voiceover of what exactly is in our meals. They, they both look fantastic, though. You guys, this is so special. Even though they, they know we're stuff, we have we had a great relationship with our um, our server tonight. He was fantastic, um, but he brought over on the house a look at that happy anniversary, a piece of bourbon cheesecake. Which even though we didn't want dessert, we we are gonna dig into this. This looks delicious. But again, it just um, you know I think we talked about it in a couple other segments. Like this, like they're 
knocking our socks off the service. Like, it is a special occasion for us, but like, they're still going above and beyond. And that's, that's, you can't ask for more than that. Good morning, Clearwater. We just did the mile walk up from the Opal Sands Hotel to just past the Hilton and Pier 60 to come to the Clear Sky Cafe. We have about a 15 minute wait. I heard it's a lot worse when it's busy, but 15 minutes isn't too bad. It's a big place. So we just walked to the end of the, the road that's right on the corner behind me. I'll get some footage in a second, but here is uh, Clearwater Beach at the other end of the um, strand, I guess you'd call it. And it's pretty quiet morning. No problem getting seats here. Also, this restaurant, I think it was Frank. Frank's uh, Bar and Grill or something. It's a great location on the, on the, on the beach. <sighs> My bad, I don't know where I got Frank's from. It's called Tate Island Grill and it might service this like timeshare, I don't know. But either way, it's got a great location on the beach. That's, you can't deny that. So here it is, the Clear Sky Cafe. I'm sorry if the wind is torturing this microphone. Super popular place. Very busy. It's kind of in the shadow of these timeshares. But um, we're told the the brunch here is the way to go. So there you go. There's the uh, the sign. Also, another point of reference is it's right across from the the Sam Pearl Resort, which is also another very prestigious hotel here on the Strip. So Amber and I got the frozen blueberry bellinis because I think there's a law in Florida that says you need to get this. Cheers, baby. Cheers. How was it? So good. It's pretty damn good. So breakfast has arrived. I got the French toast with scrambled eggs and breakfast potatoes and some extra sausage. Amber got the breakfast sandwich, which is with bacon. And the food here just looks delicious. We have a second round coming out because we polished off our Bellinis, but this looks like it's really up to its reputation. All right, one final look at the Clear Sky Cafe. Our brunch was on fleek. The ingredients were amazing. They are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, there's a wait for sure for, for brunch. Uh, but dinner, apparently, you can make reservations. So just one last look. Highly recommend this. It was highly recommended to us by other YouTubers. And uh, they weren't wrong. So we're passing along the same wisdom. Uh, and I think we're going to go hit the main strand and start a day of adult beverages. So come along. So here we are in the center of Clearwater Beach. The Pier, Pier 60 is just over yonder. The Hilton Hotel, which I guess was the big, it's the, it's, it's the, 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 the first big hotel you see when you drive in over the causeway, which by the way, is right behind me. This is the roundabout. Behind the roundabout is the causeway that goes back to the mainland that separates Clearwater Beach from the rest of Florida. But I'd say there's a lot of bars and restaurants down here. This is sort of the the northern end of the strip. We're staying at the southern end of the Opal Sands. But that's where the cafe was, the Hilton was. Um, the last hotel we went into, the Sandpiper, I think it was called. And we're heading up to a rooftop bar over here called the Crow's Nest, which does, it's at the top of this building. 
on the harbor and apparently they do free shots at sunset and it's just a nice place to enjoy views of both the ocean and the marina so let's head over there and check it out let's see if you can guess what we got based on the menu so here's the options oh by the way we're at jimmy's and crow's nest this is a rooftop i'll show you the incredible views in a second but here is the drink menu now if you know me in these videos and you probably don't yet but it had to be the bucket six kind of rums for $15. I thought that was a, a steal. And Amber, what'd you get? The Palma Paloma. The Palma Paloma. What's the base of it? Tequila. Tequila. The Amber loves tequila. So, and then here we go. Look at that view. This place overlooks, uh, well, obviously the beach. That's Pier 60. So Jimmy's Crow's Nest on the top of the Pier 60, I think, hotel. I think that's what it's called. This is our favorite spot in Clearwater so far, y'all. Um, got a nice view over the marina, but I wanted to show you. Because I think this is one of the more popular, this pirate ship that they're loading up for their nightly excursion. It feels a little rough. The water feels a little rough. So I don't know how successful they're gonna be. That is, um, Crabby's Dockside. It's one of like the five Crabby's locations. This white building over here. Very popular. It's um, all three stories. There's people eating on all three stories. But there's the Hilton again. And here is Pier 60. So this is, I mean, what a phenomenal view. It goes all the way to the Wyndham. And yeah, the drinks are pretty affordable. The views are amazing. The food's pretty good. The case is delicious. And you cannot beat these views. So here's the actual bar at Jimmy's Crow's Nest. But like I said, you really come here for the for the view. There's Beautiful Life. Again, the Hilton Hotel and Pier 60. Wonderful place to spend an afternoon. Highly recommend it. Well, we're making our way home on uh, day two. Unfortunately, it's the last day here on the beach. I wish we were staying forever. Uh, this is the Hyatt, very cute, very pink. Uh, across the street is the beach, lovely. But over here is uh, Surf Style, which I guess is like the biggest surf related store, certainly at Clearwater Beach. It, like, they have their own radio channel. They have their own commercials. There's a sale going on, so. Uh, I think there's a law in Florida that says if there's a sale going on and you're on a vacation, you should check it out. So let's go check it out. Okay, so it's basically a billabong on <laughs> steroids. This place is freaking gigantic. Look at this. It's like a Costco for bros. I love it. If I can't find a $9 seashell necklace in here, I'm giving up on life. So we've been in Surf Style for exactly 60 seconds. And I said I wanted a $9 seashell necklace. Boom, $8.99. There it is, folks. $9. I may or may not walk out with this. We've had a few drinks. But um, also, you can actually surf in this place. Let's go over here and check this out. Well, they're not exactly surfing. They're more boogie boarding. Badly. But you can do it in here. All right, y'all. We came to um, another quiet establishment in Clearwater Beach on a Saturday night. This is Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. And to their name, they got some live music. So let's see what they're going to kick off the night with. Okay, 
So we're here at Frenchie's uh, Beefside, and I got the, well, we got the seafood gumbo, a bowl of it, which I'm looking forward to. But Amber, what did you get? What are these? These are sweet and spicy pork wings. Sweet and spicy pork wings fried. They look delicious. This place is packed, and we're excited to dig in. It's a big outdoor area. Bar inside. There's actually two bars. Yeah, thank you. There we are at Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. Boy, this is a loud, boisterous place, and although you can't see it, believe me when I tell you, the water is about 50 yards over there so probably a great place to come during the day but yeah this was busy tonight uh, a lot i think a lot of locals were here tonight so that's usually a good sign and our food was um something to write home about but it was certainly pretty good so it's all about the atmosphere really and the drinks and they were pretty good So we're down in Seaguini on our final day, and Amber got the delicious looking breakfast pizza. And I went with the buffet. It's pretty standard fare, you know, scrambled eggs. Sausages are good. I got some French toast. There's an assortment of muffins back there. I would film, but it's very crowded, and it's hard to move around in there. But a pretty decent breakfast spread, considering that the breakfast passes were complimentary for this visit. Checkouts in about an hour, and uh, I've already got that post depression, post vacation depression. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna miss this view. Amber just noticed that the, the Casa Bellas uh, that they put out every day today, they're turned in a different direction. I thought, mistakenly, because now that I'm thinking about it, the sun's not in the right place, that it was for the sun, but Amber had a good point. The wind is really blowing uh, in that direction from, I guess, north to south. So they put the um, Casa Bellas in a way so the, the, the hood breaks the wind and you're comfortable in your little, your little pod there. So. They, uh, they're thinking about you when they when you come here on vacation. They're, they're here to take care of you.
just pulled out of um, the Opal Sands Valley parking area and we're sadly heading home. Was that the Krabby's that was closed? Um, it's closed? actually the Frenchies. Frenchies, Frenchies. So was there closed. was the Frenchies that was closed. Here's one of many Krabby's. are like some sundry and souvenir shops on the left and then here's that uh giant surf style right here that, that was we... the most insane store we went into <laughs> you can surf indoors yeah boogie board and then here's the hyatt which we actually went into quickly and it i'm, I'm unsure if it's under renovation it wasn't very um wouldn't say it was very Hyatt Regency level. <laughs> no, great, great, great pool midway up the building. Uh, great location, no doubt about it. There's some good amenities here in the, in the bottom. There's like this diner. So There's some burgers and pizza down here, some yeah, wings. But the hotel itself, I think she could use a little bit of a re and It looks like they're doing a refurb, so. There's bad fins, which I've read about in this building. Um, I'm, I'm, we didn't try it, but I've, I've heard good things. Yeah, we'd come back and check that. Um, we also didn't make it out on the pier. We didn't. Next time we saved it, we have things to come back for. So, um, Amber, go ahead and um, overall impressions of the hotel. Oh, the hotel was fantastic. I would absolutely stay here in a heartbeat. I don't know that I want to explore another hotel. Right. I, I don't know that another one will live up to this. So, um, actually guys, this is the, uh, Pier House 60. I think it's a hotel. Um, I think that's the name of the hotel, but this is where, uh, Jimmy's crow's nest up there. It's up here on this. Sorry. There's yeah. rooftop, which is what we did yesterday. I think there will be some video, um, either in this video or another, but, um, highly recommend that view. That view is fantastic. How do we found it? The day before, we would have spent two days up there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was wonderful. Outside um, of the hotel is my favorite thing. Because you're yeah, going to charter all the boats. So here, yeah, so here's where you can get a pirate ship or <laughs> parasail or um, there's some dinner cruises that we considered. And there's another Krabby's. So there's a three-story Krabby's in the distance behind this yellow building. So in that white building just beyond it, we'll... We're about to make the corner, so you'll see. Um, that's another Krabby's. <laughs> there's there's a lot of Krabby's. A lot of Krabby's, Salties, Frenchies. They've got the corner of the market. They do. So this looks like it would be an awesome spot to uh, see some water views. And then here's the roundabout. And we're about to go over the causeway. Yeah, so my impressions of the hotel, you, every room was ocean facing. The service was spectacular from the bellman to the front desk agent to the the person taking your plates at Seguini to the bartenders at the, the sandbar. I mean, just across the board, they were all- Everybody was fantastic. The, the, the pool attendant was fantastic. The the the, 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 the servant, the, 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 the waiters and waitresses at the pool. Yep. Fantastic. Agreed. Uh, I would absolutely stay here again. Um, we had the best view. We had um, those, <laughs> our balcony seats were so comfortable. We spent two sunsets out there. Yep, we time lapse both of those. Beautiful. Um, here's the, this the causeway. The harbor, yeah. The harbor, yeah. So I think the aquarium is going to be over here on the left again, which I think we maybe took some video up when we were coming in so I'm, I believe right there that's the aquarium so yep we did not make it there but. and there's the dolphin complex yep. what else I would say that the only downsides to the hotel were it's, it's I mean its location is somewhat removed so if you want to be in the middle of it where most of the restaurants are it's you know, three quarters of a mile walk, which is no big deal, but you should know that going in. It, and I mean, it's a lovely walk. If if the weather is great, like we were fortunate enough to have, yeah, um, it's totally worth that walk. I love 
I loved doing that walk yesterday on our way to breakfast. Um, I, uh, the food was so good at Sea Queenie. We had, um, we had dinner there one night, which you'll see as well. Um, and we did breakfast twice. Adrian, you enjoyed the buffet, right? Like, yeah, I thought the buffet was solid. I'm yeah. not going to write home about it, but it certainly wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite, so... And I'm just... I, I typically don't eat breakfast. It's I'll eat breakfast on the weekends, but I don't typically eat a huge first meal. Um, today, I did get a breakfast pizza off of their um, a la carte menu, and oh my gosh, it was delicious. The breakfast pizza was the bomb. It was so good. So, highly recommend Seaguini. Um, That's just it. Like, every, the, the drinks were good, the food was good. Yeah, everything was fantastic. Yeah, you're firing on all cylinders. cylinders. More water views on the way out. Um, I would also say that. The pool's a little undersized. Yeah, the pool is undersized. The deepest um, it goes is four feet. So that's a little bummer. But you do have the ocean. And you can take drinks in your pool, okay. which is a change from what we're used to. Disney property does not let you do that. They're not fans of that. Um, whether it's in a plastic glass or not, or not glass, but a plastic cup or not, they don't allow a drink in a pool, which I guess I can, I can understand. <laughs> but you know, some of us are adults at Disney. <laughs> um, what else would I say about the hotel? Oh, well, I mean, just overall as a trip, we, we originally had forecasted some really not great weather. And we got so lucky. I was I was a little disappointed going into this vacation. I was worried that it was going to be ruined by pretty much rain for three days. Yeah, at one point it said 80% chance of rain all, pretty much the entire time. Yeah. We so booked, And we didn't have... It rained a little on Thursday, which was the day that we drove in. Yeah, but it's that. fine. It was totally okay. Um, that night we actually went across the street and ate at Salty's which is directly across the street from Opal Sands. Yeah. And that was fantastic too. So, um, truly I was, I had mentioned to Adrian while we were saying our goodbyes at the hotel or to the hotel that I could have stayed at the hotel the whole time. Yeah. But I mean, I I'm glad that we experienced a little bit more than that, but. Well, the other nice thing about Clearwater in October was I can't, you can see how busy that place would, would get and it wasn't I, I never felt crowded we never had to wait I mean, we had to wait 15 minutes for dinner one night that was the worst yeah and the other nice thing was all the bars like again the staff is friendly at, at, at the bars we went to for the most part lots of live music there is a band or a singer in most establishments mm -hmm. uh, all time of day too it wasn't just at night it was during the afternoon yeah so yeah, what a little... It was very relaxing. I can see why it's America's favorite beach. I really can. Yeah, I, I love Clearwater. I can't wait to come back. Um, Adrian was already looking at dates before we were walking out. Well, they, so. were, they were tempting us with a 35% off. <laughs> Keep on. I, I almost stayed there again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Overall thoughts on Clearwater? We are definitely fans. We'll be coming back. We'll be back. So if you made it this far, please go ahead and you heard you hear every YouTuber say it, but you're gonna hear me say it now. You're gonna hear everybody say it. Like, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, comments. <laughs> tell us your favorite thing in Clearwater Beach. What should we do when we come back? For the love of God, comment. We would love to interact with you. We want to get to know our subscribers. Uh, share, please share the channel if you think anybody else would be entertained. And um, above all, have fun storming the castle.